for your film, The Breadwinner, uh, there's a scene um, where Pavana gets a, a haircut. And I remember, um, I think from a podcast interview you had done uh, previously, you had talked about maybe there was going to be some uh, some dialogue there that you eventually cut and made it a much more silent um, scene. Um, but in watching this scene, it, it is very subtle acting. Uh, and yet the shapes and the designs are very minimal uh, and and even, um, even simplistic. Uh, which I recall, you know, in studying the Prince of Egypt, they talked about how difficult it was to animate subtlety in animation. Uh, and their designs are much more complex and much more, um, yeah, just uh, in that way. It's a risky move to... to to move in that direction, to to sort of do something really subtle um, with more minimal designs. Uh, do you have you found uh, strengths uh, in the way that you guys design your films and and, and series? Um, or have there been limitations? Um, how has that been as you approach those kinds of challenges with the various aesthetics you guys have chosen? Yeah, I guess we find strength in the limitations. I love the idea that you can evoke or, you know, a, a, um, an emotional response from an audience using as few lines as possible and by you know um, uh, pulling back with the emotion and letting your audience come towards the screen uh, that that bit more. And you know, oftentimes if you go the other way and you try and do too much, um, audiences are so sophisticated you know even children are you know that that they they'll feel it they'll feel that you're trying to manipulate them and they'll they'll pull away so letting them fill in the gaps um uh, is a is a really powerful uh tool uh on all of the films and the series um we do try to make a virtue of the economies that we need in order to you know get the get the project on on uh, on time and on schedule so we don't just reach for the stars and anything goes and it's you know the more is more and you know better is better uh, we 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 try to look at how what the story needs in terms of its design so what kind of a story is it how does the design run along the 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 narrative arc of the characters what how how does the the design feed into what the characters need in order for us to be able to tell the story as well as we possibly can and that oftentimes brings economies it brings some you know um, a, a structure to it so you know that um say with um with uh, the breadwinner where we had a, a limited uh budget and because the character of Parvana wasn't somebody who was going to be hugely vocal in her expression of the things that she wanted or demanded we knew that she was somebody who was really sophisticated uh, in terms of how she communicated even with the people in her own uh, in her own family and with her audience you know um, that we could say a lot with just a, a glance, you know, that we could, that we could just let her, her gaze drop for a, a, an instant or her, um, you know, see her sister coming into that little small enclosed space with her and uh, let that be much more powerful. Let the composers, Jeff and Michael Dana, take over there and let it be much more powerful than, um, you know, whatever wonderful lines of dialogue we had. Um, Anita Doran, our screenwriter for uh, The Breadwinner, and we had uh, actually the first draft of the, the screenplay was written by Deborah Ellis, the, 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 um, the writer of the, the book, the novelist, um, on which the, the, the film was based. Um, they'd done a, a, a really such a gorgeously poetic, beautiful job with the screenplay, but the process of animation and the process of storyboarding is always taking away, you know, you take away everything that's superfluous and you're left with the strength then. And the strength oftentimes is in the moments that are silent or the, you know, uh, the, the, the moments where you can hear a character's breath. Um, and then that really also the contrast of that with the kind of larger moments in the film, usually around the climax of the film, um, that, that that kind of contrast is something that you're building all the way along and every department is aware of it from, hmm. from your screenwriter to your storyboarders, your animators, your uh, background artists who, who make the, like the color script, your art director who makes the color script, managing the emotional journey of the color palette of the film hmm. and your, your sound designer, your composers, everyone um, has to be aware of what it is that the characters need in every scene along that arc in order to tell the best story they can. Hmm. 